All right, so now we have a little preview of a weapon that many have been waiting for and most of you have seen by now. This is the new Israeli IWI Galil Ace pistol. I believe the designator is like SAP or SA1. Hello. Hello. The Galil Ace is a modernized version of the original that everyone knows. This is the pistol, so it's based on the Micro Galil, which we have a video that, that covers the Micro. It has a, a barrel that's just a smidge over 8 inches. The first ones they've released here are in 760 by 39 And at first that caliber choice was, uh, was off-putting to me. But then I realized that most of the militaries that are using these right now, such as uh, Colombia and Vietnam, that's what they're using these in. So it makes a little bit of sense. That's why... IWI is kind of launching with that caliber. But um, it has all the features of the standard Galil. It's got a machined receiver, AK style action. It has a standard uh, safety on this side. See? And then it has the, the thumb, the Galil thumb style on this side. Obviously, it's left side cocking versus right. It is a reciprocating charging handle, though, and it has this uh, very Rube Goldberg-esque uh, dust cover there. The magwell in lower housing is made of uh, polymer, but as you can see, it's not much of the gun. I guess it does save a little bit of weight. The pistol grip is actually surprisingly comfortable and ergonomic. I like it. It also has a small storage compartment inside. The rear has a uh, QD sling point and it does come with this swivel installed so that's nice if you uh, do file for an SBR stamp and get it back this is this block is just held in with a single giant roll pin so drive it out put your stock in done basically it comes apart like a standard Galil has standard uh, micro style sights has this long top rail that dovetails together it actually splits right here the handguard I really like. It looks like a standard handguard, but it has these removable rail panels. They fit pretty tight. They, they, they have a little bit of front to back play, but they lock on nice and tight. See, it slides, and then there's rails if you need them. And if not, slide it on. The bottom comes out to uh, two. Let's see if I can do this here on camera. Like I said, they're a little, there you go. See, a uh, bottom rail come off if you don't need it just put your cover back on what I like so much is how even they are when they're all on it's a nice round handguard not too fat especially for having rails underneath has a standard uh, A2 style birdcage flash hider that's removable standard um, again micro front sight just like the micro rear which are adjustable so yeah that is the uh, Galil Ace Pistol these have been out for about six months now. Right now, this is the only version available, the pistol in 760 by 39 The carbine in the same caliber will be out, due out very soon. And then following that will be a 308 pistol and 308 carbine, and then finally 223 pistol and 223 carbine. So um, the Glil is back. The price point on these isn't too bad. Um, they're around 1500 new for the pistols, and the carbine should be about the same. The pistols, at least, are made entirely in Israel. I presume the carbines will be Israeli and then have 922R parts installed, or maybe they're going to be assembled from parts in the um, factory up in Pennsylvania. It has a very nice trigger, by the way. It's a double hook machined trigger. They say it's a, you know, a match grid or something. I wouldn't go that far, but it is very decent for a military trigger. The left side cocking doesn't bother me, being reciprocating doesn't, doesn't bother me, but it might bother some. The magazine does not drop free. It rocks out because it's a standard AK mag. It comes with these um, Magpul P mags for the 760 by 39 No bolt hold open, as you see, again, because they're using AK mags. This one, at least, the mags do fit a little bit tight. This is really hard to do without a stock. Yeah, get up in there and it locks in very little play at all. Actually, none, in fact. 
you know, it's a nice tight mag. Well, for those of you who like that, good quality. Comes with a few accessories and do doodads. These come in extremely oiled up and greased up. So uh, if you get one, don't be surprised if it's sticky from a kind of a Cosmoline derived preservative. I guess to get them from overseas here, safe and sound. But uh, they definitely come in well oiled and well packed. But yeah, I thought we'd just uh, kind of give a little preview here on this uh, Galil Ace pistol. We've done other modern 223s such as the uh, CZ805 Bryn, and uh, there's been a pretty good year for uh, 223 type guns. Well, this is Misha Ko and Earl saying uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.